Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I want to do is I want to talk to my chosen ones about how you become a summarization of your spirit world, your thoughts. What you think about the most on a percentage scale is what you will become and project to the outside world. And the ones around you, friends and family, you will be able to get a clear insight on where they spend predominantly most of their spiritual time and what they think about the most. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of this just comes into play just understanding the secret to life. You know what I'm saying? The secret to shifting who you are. You know, the, the secret to actually ascending to a higher space and frequency or a lower space if you would like to. But what you think about, where you spend the most time at in your spiritual realm, is the world you would project outwardly, you know. And for me, it took me not that long to understand that because it was like something I already kind of knew growing up, but I didn't have, you know, the information to make it go hand in hand with the experiences. But as I got older and start diving in, and a lot of us, when we get to that place of growing and ascending and we realize, okay, well... I cannot hang around these people anymore or if I do they're doing certain things to my energy I'm not allowed to go to these spaces if I do they always trying to do something with my energy what happens is what get us even to these places and spaces is we started looking at ourselves differently we started spending more time in our thoughts and our spiritual realm thinking about different shit than what the beings was around us thinking about and the more and more you do that, the more you're watering, the more you are fertilizing, the more you are going to reap what you sow. You know, this, the same way we see this grass in the soil, that's how we have to see our mind. You can plant something poisonous in there and it's gonna grow, or you can plant something extremely helpful and it's going to grow. And this one was like a tricky one for me, right? And I only say tricky because when you have emotions, energy and emotions connected to other beings and entities, it make your decision making a little bit trickier sometimes. Whether it make it harder or easier, doesn't matter. We already know us chosen ones do everything on the hardest level already. So understanding that when I start getting to a better space and I realize the people around me was literally they were their thoughts and their spiritual realm was only as big as this box and then I was hanging out on top of the box but then once I found me and this knowledge and information I was on the outside of the box so now I'm on the outside of the box and all the people that I used to be involved with are inside this box so it's extremely hard to communicate with them because for one I'm there in a box it's a wall right here so there's a barrier blocking the sound we all know that sound travels you know it's vibration so in order for the sound to travel properly to them it would have to be no wall but they have a wall so now it's hitting off the wall or it's going over top into the box but it makes everything a lot more complicated that's why it becomes harder for us once we start shifting our thoughts in our spirit world and becoming a different being within it happens outwardly I wasn't always in this space. But when I was working at the bill job, I used to tell myself every day, I don't wanna always work a bill job. I don't like waking up on other people's time. Not the system's time. I don't mind waking up on other people's time like if I had to do something for my daughter or people that I care about around me. That's different waking up on their time. I want to. I don't want to wake up and go to these bill jobs. I do it because there's a check that comes at the end of it. But outside of that, I didn't want to. I had to put myself in a space to realizing, okay, you believe in you, your friends and family clearly don't believe in you, which is fine. But now, because you've always believed in yourself, now you're going to have to work even harder. Not work even harder. You're going to have to do a better job at projecting the way you feel on the inside and where I am spending my most time and thoughts at in my spirit world. And that's what brought me to this space. I was doing my Godcast first, reaching out real people in real lifetime, 
you know, in bringing them together and communicating in real lifetime, I realized that was a little bit trickier. But I was already in that space spiritually before I even formulated that and made it happen. And then even with bringing people together in my city, on the outskirts of my city, I still even grabbed a Zoom, uh, 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 what is it, a 4K cam link piece. Another piece you need is a third party, but I grabbed that. It allowed me to reach people outside of my city. It's a Zoom link. It's not a Zoom link. Zoom is its own thing, but the cam link allowed me to use my DSLR camera as a webcam. Now, I'm able to set up my Zoom calls and I could communicate with people all over the world, digitally still. I could do that through FaceTime and things, but I wanted to share my engagements and interactions. That's why the Godcast came about. But this wasn't always the space, and that's why it's always like when, when we all start growing and ascending, the, the saying is, they won't see you in a new light. How can they see you in a new light, right? How can they see you in a new light? For one, they're full of cloudiness. I don't even want to say darkness. If you ever in the mountains and, and when the clouds drop, it's so foggy and cloudy, you can barely see in front of you. So it doesn't matter if it's dark or light, right? But their space is so congested with everything that the system put in there, everything that all this entertainment and leisure and pleasure shit in front of them, it, it has outweighed their vision to see anything past their hand. A lot of this always comes down to just understanding that we become what we think of. What you think of the most is what you will project outwardly. This is how you will spend your time. You know, so they say it's like a secret, but it's not, it's not really a secret. Like we all, I, I tell my daughter every time she get ready to do something, um, she be like, ah, let's say she wanted to go to the pool. She be like, daddy, I want to go to the pool tomorrow. And I'll be like, all right, cool. She's created that space in her spiritual world to where she was already seeing herself at the pool, so then she decided to ask me. I'm a vessel for the universe. Since I'm in her life, this vessel is here to assist her. Not in everything she ever wanted to do, but it's here to guide and assist her. The pool is something that's it's in the middle, okay? So, in my world, it's like, well, I already understand she created that in her spiritual world. That's what she wants to do. It's my job to make it happen. But in order for me to help her make it happen, she has to make sure that she's doing what she's supposed to be doing in between there, you know? So that means, like, not just running around trying to break and trash everything in the house to where the point where you're, you're projecting different energy. So now, what you was asking for and trying to manifest you kind of hindering it because of the energy you projecting and putting out. It's like a lot of these other beings that I dealt with in my full-time life, you know, like a different females and spouses coming in. It, the last person I was dealing with trying to come in, like all they could ever see themselves doing is working a build job and being disgusting. And in my mind, it's like they work a build job, be disgusting, and sometimes over here they do nice gestures. But the thing is, with the nice gestures, they got so much witchy shit going on over here that this never weighs out. So when I knew that they was trying to slide in the picture, I could tell where their thoughts was at because they always would talk to me about, oh, another bitch here, another female here, another female. And my thing is, is like, we don't even have a healthy relationship established, but I could tell you spend more time thinking of other people than establishing a more healthy relationship within yourself so that way you're projecting a more healthy relationship outwardly instead of being so fearful and scary and manipulative and disgusting that you're just projecting all of that shit out that's what be the obvious part is that clearly i could tell you live in a jealous envious disgusting insecure space i could tell because you could project it with each word that you say. You project it with how you walk in life. You project it by the decisions that you make. It. 
So that makes it extremely easy to be able to tell, okay, well, I know where they live at. For me, I don't believe in the system. So when people start talking to me about different things in the system and their systematic security and all this other shit, I can already tell and understand, all right, well, this being has a full belief system locked into the matrix. They believe it wholeheartedly. They've conformed. So now they're just projecting how they think and spend their time in the inside. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said that shit with our parents. Fuck all that bullshit with them. If they wanted to do better, they would be doing better. They they. They would be spending so much time in the inside figuring out how can I make a better relationship with my kids? How can I make sure that I'm doing more for my grandkids? If they were spending time in these spaces, we would be seeing that shit reflect outwardly. But we are not seeing it. A lot of us haven't even talked to our fucking parents for a year, two years, six months, three weeks, five years, ten years. You know what I'm saying? These are people that's fucking raised us our whole life. There's no reason why we should go no contact with them, period, unless they are on the opposite side of the spectrum and pulling our energy down. That's the only reason why we would have to get the fuck away from somebody who's raised us our entire life. Because other than that, we already understand that we, we idolize our parents almost until we get to a different space and realize, oh shit. I shouldn't be idolizing this motherfucker if I am. You know what I'm saying? Most of us, it'd be admiration. I just use idolizing because it hits harder. You know, it's more 3D, it has more weight and more oomph to it. I'm very aware of the words I use and I choose them, I pick them wisely. You know what I'm saying? But you are a summarization of your thoughts and where you spend your time at up here. You know what I'm saying? You are a summarization of your thoughts. You must be consistent in your routine. You must be and implementing as much discipline as you can. Getting up, making your bed every day, that's just all about discipline. That has nothing to do with, oh, I, I need to motivate myself, I need to make sure my bed is clean so that way I can come in my room and look at it clean. No, you can, That those are things that are accolades that come on top of it. But the first thing that is initiative, that's initiated, is the discipline. You get in that fucking bed made when you're up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's just an example. I don't give a damn if you make your bed or not. Some people don't even have a space to even make. They just get up and go. You know what I'm saying? But it's just an example. You know what I'm saying? You are what we think about. And you can tell the motherfuckers around you what they think about by where their energy is at and by what they're projecting. So don't let that witchy shit that they doing or the mask shake you or throw you sideways because they know and you have the power and the vision and the intuition to feel and see within them to know it's so, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't wanna run it up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the Kings and Queens.